Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I've got quite a few here. I'm just going to jump right in. Okay, so the first fragrance that I wore last week was one that I was had been looking forward to wearing in the cooler weather. Uh, this is Iris Prima from Penhaligans and this is a beautiful like makeup-y iris scent but this has a leather note in it and i'm typically not a fan of leather in perfume unless it's done really really well and it's not super overpowering and that's how the leather is in iris prima it's not overpowering but it adds it like takes away any sweetness that there may have been otherwise and it just adds this really beautiful like classy it smells like an elevated kind of cosmetic iris scent if that makes any sense it's as if you had like your cosmetics stored in a really expensive like leather makeup bag or something it's so so beautiful it's very slightly powdery but not like overly powdery and it's beautiful it's just got this beautiful like powdery iris quality but with a little bit of a leather undertone and I love that the label on it is leather as well it's just such a beautiful fragrance so iris prima is bergamot pink pepper iris jasmine leather benzoin vetiver sandalwood vanilla and amber and I read where this is supposed to be um, I think that this was inspired by uh, like ballet and which would make sense prima um, and like this the smell of the ballet shoes and um, I can't exactly remember it's been a while since I read what what the inspiration was possibly the paintings by I want to say Degas is the per is the um, artist that painted all of the ballerina pictures but yeah I think that that and that's kind of the vibe I get when I smell this it's just a beautiful fragrance so anyways this is Penhaligon's Iris Prima okay next <laughs> I have the beginning of a couple of amber fragrances I've really been feeling amber lately so um, the first one that I wore last week was Crater from Dua Fragrances and this is beautiful. This is a, um, this is a clone of uh, Maison Francis Kirkjian's uh, Grand Soir. It's gorgeous. It's just a beautiful, thick, warm, comforting amber fragrance. So Crater is benzoin, labdanum, tonka bean, amber, and vanilla. And it's got just the slightest amount of sweetness from the vanilla. It's just gorgeous. So I love this fragrance. My husband and I have used the absolute heck out of it. So yeah, that is a Crater from Dubois. Okay, the next one is another one that I have been waiting ages to... Uh, try this in cold weather because I picked this fragrance up like I want to say maybe last March or April it was when it was starting to get warm out here and I tried it and it was just a little bit too warm for it because it didn't smell at all like what I expected it to smell like from the notes and um, it got really cloying on me it ended up being um, it ended up smelling really sweet and cloying and somebody told me just that it's not a cool it's not a hot weather fragrance at all it's definitely a cold weather fragrance so this is uh martine mikalev mon parfum cristal and it's in this beautiful bottle it's really this really unique bottle here we go this really really pretty bottle can do this without dropping it but yeah so that is Mon Parfum Cristal from Martine Mikalev and oh my gosh you guys I wore this the other day not only is this like a forever long wearing fragrance it's such a good performing fragrance it's so so beautiful 
I'm so glad I waited until the cooler months to give this a chance because it is so good. Okay, so this is pink pepper, cinnamon, Bulgar Bulgarian rose, Madagascar vanilla, toffee, amber, and musk. And see, in the heat, it pulls the toffee out. So you just get this really, like, sickeningly sweet, cloying fragrance. And in the colder weather, oh my gosh, the toffee is there, but the rose is so gorgeous. It's like a beautiful fresh smelling true rose, but it's like a candied rose because of that toffee note. It's just gorgeous. This stuff lasts absolutely forever on clothes and skin. I just have had the best like experience with this in cold weather. I'm so excited about it now. So anyways, that is Martine Mikalef Mon Parfum Cristal. Okay, and then the next one is one that um, a lot of you were interested in when I hauled this. This is the, uh, and thank you to uh, the subscriber who told me how to pronounce this. This is from a house called Gilles Cantuel, and it's a really, really affordable house. Like, you can find some of their fragrances on Fragrance X. Um, and they're really, really inexpensive. I found this on a website called tigerlilyparfum.com and this is gorgeous, you guys. This is, this is along the lines of um, Lune Feline from Atelier Dior's, but if you take the cardamom away, replace that with tobacco. This smells a lot like Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now, the only thing is you're not going to get the longevity that you do out of, that you would get out of Tobacco Vini. Tobacco Vini is just an absolute monster of a fragrance. Like, my mom wears it all the time, and when she's wearing it, like when I come home, as soon as I open the door, like my whole house smells like Tobacco Vini because it is such a beast of a fragrance. So you're definitely not going to get that kind of longevity out of this, but this is a really, really good alternative for it. Like if you're looking for a more affordable option, this is definitely a like a good option. Is it 100% dupe? Definitely not, but it's close. It's really close. Like you're going to have the same experience with this fragrance as with Tobacco Vini. So um, I got about six hours out of this and then it really just, I couldn't smell it anymore. So you would have to like reapply after about six hours, but... I mean, for 13 bucks or whatever I paid for it, it's totally worth it. It's really nice. So the notes in this are tobacco, spice, vanilla, tobacco blossom, tonka bean, cocoa, and wood notes. It's really nice. If you guys can find this, I definitely would recommend it. It's a really nice, like, affordable alternative to tobacco vinny. So that is Gilles Cantuel, uh, Paris, and it's just called Vanilla. Like, the box just said vanilla, so, yeah, that's kind of strange, but. Okay, the next one. I wore this, um, my mom and I had to go to Ikea recently because I had to pick up a few things for the house, and I wore this fragrance, and this smelled so amazing all day long. This is another one that I bought when it was starting to get warm, and I just now have finally gotten to test it in cold weather and I adore it. Even though um, this could easily be a hot weather fragrance too. It's a fig fragrance, but I just knew it was going to bloom in cold weather. This is Imaginary Authors Yesterday Haze. And oh my gosh, this is so good. This is very, very unisex. It's not an overly feminine smelling fragrance at all. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful fig fragrance. So this is, and it's a little bit, it leans almost gourmand. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love this. So this is fig, iris, whipped cream, tonka bean, woody notes, walnut, and fruity notes. And that walnut and whipped cream, oh my gosh, make it smell like a pie you want to eat or something like but not 
I shouldn't say that. I don't want you to think it's like overly gourmand, like it smells like something that you would want to eat. It's just one of those things that when you detect those notes in it, it makes you want to like eat whipped cream and walnuts or something, you know, if that makes any sense. It's gorgeous. It's just a really, really nice big fragrance. This hung on forever. Like I could still smell it. Um, I sprayed it on in the morning. I can still smell it on me in the evening. So it's a really good performing fragrance on me. So anyways, this is Imaginary Authors Yesterday Haze. Okay, the next one I wore, this is one that I wear to bed quite often. This is not one that I could wear to work or anything. It just lasts about 15 minutes and then is gone. This is um, Secret Day Rochas or Rocha, I think is how you say it, Rocha, uh, Rose Intense by Rocha. And uh, this is gorgeous. This is, this is a fragrance that is in line with like uh, Elisab Essence Rose Number no. 1 or Essence Number no. 1 Rose or uh, Nina Ricci uh, Lex Stays Rose Absolute. It's, it's in the same kind of it's in the same family as either of those. This one has a little bit more of a lightness to it and a little bit more sweetness to it. This is such a stunning fragrance. I so wish that this lasted on me so that I could wear it like more than just to better around the house, but I would definitely wear this for like a grocery shopping trip or something like that too. Something where I'm just gonna be running around for like an hour and then I'll be home because it's just not going to get you much further than that, but it still smells so amazing. Okay, so Rose Intenses, May Rose, Passion Fruit, Peach, Red Rose, Green Leaves, Osmanthus, Patchouli, Musk, Moss, and Amber. And it is the peach and the, pas the passion fruit that give, us, give it that sweetness. You definitely get the passion fruit, but I typically don't love passion fruit in fragrance. But mingled with the different roses in this, it just works. It's just giving it this beautiful, like light, tart, sweet character to a rose fragrance that is kind of a dark rose fragrance, kind of like, like I say, a rose absolute or um, a fragrance like that. It's like a dark rose fragrance that has this beautiful, like, light, sweet, tart uh, fruitiness in the top. It's beautiful. I just wish, and the color of the liquid, too, is so pretty. I just wish it lasted longer. But anyways, that is Secret Day Rocha, Rose Intense from Rocha. Next is one that I just hauled, and this is Jennifer Lopez Still. Um, this is a stunning fragrance. I wore this. This is such a beautiful, creamy, like clean tea fragrance. It's so good. I adore this. I'm so glad I have a big bottle because um, this lasts like a few hours and then you do have to reapply. But this is one that will be gorgeous for bedtime. This is one that will be awesome for like getting out of the shower or a bath, especially if you shower at night, uh, to spray this on after you get out of the shower and then like you're going to go to bed. Perfect fragrance for that. It's such a beautiful, comfy, cozy, creamy, slightly sweet tea fragrance. I adore this. This is great for a day like today where I'm just going to be like filming all day. I'm going to be in the house. I can just constantly reapply it and get that creamy goodness. Like it's so beautiful. I don't know why I slept on this one for so long and I'm so glad I finally have it. So still is Earl Grey tea, white pepper, mandarin orange, apple, rice, jasmine, lily of the valley, freesia, honeysuckle, rose, orange blossom, pepper, musk, iris, sandalwood, and amber. It's got a lot of notes in it. Oh, it's so good though. It's like that rice note is giving this whole fragrance like the most beautiful creaminess. 
I would not say, somebody asked me if this smells like Earl Grey tea. I would not say it smells like Earl Grey tea. I don't get, gosh, I'm so sorry if you can hear this traffic out here. The road that we live off of is a detour right now because the entrance, we live like right on the outside, the outskirts of a lake and the entrance to the lake has been blocked off. So they have to, everybody has to detour down our road, which has turned our very quiet road into a very busy road right now. And it's like, oh, I can't, it's hard for me to film with all this traffic. So I hope it's not too distracting, but anyways, yeah. So I would not say that this smells like Earl Grey tea. Um, it smells like just kind of a, it's just kind of a nondescript black tea note. Um, I definitely don't get that beautiful like bergamot, tea, you know, Earl Grey tea smell. It's just more of like a creamy black tea note. So yeah, not the best performer in the world, but I don't even care because like I say, you can just keep reapplying it. It's so beautiful. That is still from Jennifer Lopez. And then last but not least, I wore another amber fragrance, and this is Ombre 114 from Histoire de Parfums, and I love this. This is more of a very um, traditional, like, amber fragrance. I didn't write the notes down for this one because I just, it was like the last one that I was putting in there for the... for this week, so I did not write the notes down, I apologize, but like I say, this is just a very warm, comfy, cozy, traditional amber smell. This one leans a little bit mature smelling. Um, my daughter, <laughs> I wore this twice last week. I wore it to bed one night, and then the next morning when I got up, I took a shower, and then I realized I still wanted to smell like this, so I sprayed it on. I did wear this one to work, um, this is one of those that it's like, I know it's not going to be a people pleaser, but that's what I wanted to smell all day, so um, I wore it anyways, and yeah, I definitely did not get any compliments on this. Um, my daughter says, what, every time I wear this, she says, I smell like my mom. She's like, you smell like Avia, which is such a beautiful, comforting, cozy fragrance for her, like the smell of my mom, and my mom always smells like tobacco vanille, so... She's probably kind of associating it with that, but oh my gosh, it's just a beauty. Um, like I say, very traditional amber, uh, very like leaning on the mature side, very unisex. This could be worn by anybody, but I adore it. Comfy, cozy, gorgeous amber fragrance that lasts absolutely forever. This will get you through a 10 hour work day like it did me, so. And I went light with it because I knew this would not be a people pleaser. So I didn't put too many sprays on. But I bet if you like really went, you know, definitely went, on, went in with like six sprays or something, you would like, you'd be in a cloud all day. So anyways, that is Ombre 114 from Histoire des Parfums. And that is going to be it for all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!